Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to channel and welcome back to FS News. It's Tuesday, so you know it's news day. Sorry, no news yesterday. I actually took a day off from actually doing the news. But we did hit a big milestone last night. 97,000 subscribers on this channel. Just wow. Crazy how actually far this channel has actually come in the last seven years. We are now less than 3,000 away from that big 100,000 goal. Well, anyways, we got a lot of news to catch up on, so let's get into it. Today in news, we'll be going over a new excavator, the Labur R960 from Kenny456, plus got some news on what iQuest Modding's next placeable will actually be. Now, for today, so far at the time of recording, there is no testing list. Question of the day. Who is your favorite mapper for farming simulator? You can put two, put three, put how many ever you guys want. I would probably say that my favorites are Lancy Boy, Chabalki, Auction David, and South Sask, in no particular order. Okay, let's start this week off strong with a 400 like news video. So remember, before we get to the news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's see this news. Walking back, and here we go with that first piece of news for today. It's actually from Chabalki. It's not about a map that he's working on. He's actually working on a new placeable. He posted this three days ago, says, I would really like to see this garage in the game. How about you? Well, then I guess he got everybody's answer because he posted this actually yesterday saying this, a garage for small machinery modeled after Morton buildings. Only windows and lighting are missing. So I guess he made that own decision for himself. After that one, another placeable is going to be coming, and this one is from Icus Fan Modi says are you ready american midwest fertilizer shed inside will have three bays one for liquid second for fertilizer and third a wash bay so that is a work in progress that will be coming out to all platforms also again a lot of questions asking where is the truck shop well anyways the truck shop is waiting for testing on the model but i think it was actually on the test list yesterday he did send it in on may 28th so hopefully it does pass this first time around he makes some amazing stuff also says in the last one, he wants to thank everybody for the crazy downloads and ratings of his last two buildings. He's very happy that you guys all liked it. To me, it's some of the best buildings we've actually seen. After that, we got some news from Rooster Mods. The Parker update has now been finally submitted. Probably won't see it on that testing list till probably the end of this month. But anyway, it says, thank you for everyone for your patience. So much effort went into this project, but he is sure you guys will love it. He will probably be making a YouTube video on his channel on the update in the near future. He says now on to the next projects, which he will announce shortly. Now, remember what this update actually includes is a new running gear, it's supposed to have the new Parker 1180 running gear, it's supposed to have more capacities, the 250 bushels, the 325 bushels, and the 350 bushels. And then also you can also change your uh, box orientation, either from right unload or to left unload. So it's gonna be really interesting to actually see this finally come out. Now, the next piece of news is actually from Case Aries Modding. A lot of people have been wondering, where is the Macdon headers? Well, the Macdon headers last week, it actually failed. And he actually has some bad news for console players. That Giants actually found an issue that he could not fix. It was something related to the i3D file, and he's never experienced this before. So, he was going to release it soon for PC only for now, if he can actually get it actually fixed and try to upload it for all platforms again. But the story actually continues. After making that post, Giants actually contacted them and informed them that they could disregard the issue they encountered because manual tests were successful. They're testing it again and after fixing the other errors. It says many times they have actually been very critical of Giants and the way it deals with the community. Now they have become concerned about this mod and he did not actually expect that and that is a good thing for everyone. Me, I've actually seen this a couple times actually with modders, helping them get their mod or map actually out to all platforms and tried to help them actually get it fixed. Okay, on the other hand though, he has also made some progress on the JNM grain card, which is aimed for all platforms, and it's already in the game. Still has a lot of work to be done with color selectable, and he will also be adding dual tire configurations on that. So a lot of good stuff coming from Case Ares, and hopefully we can finally get that Mac done, or at least a lizard branded version of the Mac done on console. Now onto the last piece of news for today, and it's actually from Kenny456. Uh, I'm actually very happy that he finally made a Facebook page, so I can actually share his news actually on our Facebook page. But anyways, what has he been working on? This is what he's been working on. He's been working on the Labur Excavator R960 SME. So here it is right here. This pack contains two versions of the excavator. 
it will have let's see an r960 sme with fixed arm like standard excavator and an r960 demolition which can attach extendable arms both can attach all attachments included in the pack which this pack is huge anyways for both of these the price ranges all the way from 210,000 all the way up to 260,000 let's see the labor r960 arm is going to be about 70,000 this thing will also include a log grapple a big log grapple a clamshell bucket wood harvester head wood shear bucket big bucket and a tools adapter so if you're looking for an excavator this will be coming out to very soon also don't forget to follow kenny456 actually on his facebook page and if you guys are interested in seeing a video of this actually working in game and a lot of the options he also has a youtube page which actually has the video of that which i will link that actually in the description too so don't forget to go over there and subscribe to him too to keep up to date with everything that he has going on Okay, now for the last piece of news to actually go over for today is actually a test and list did drop when I was actually editing this video. So the ending, the outro you guys are going to see, I'm probably going to say, you know, the no test and list. Well, there is actually a test and list, so don't pay attention to that part of the outro. But anyways, there is 102 mods on this test and list that just came out. And I will actually be going over the notable ones on here. Remember, guys, if they say PC does not mean that it is only PC only just means it is in the first stage of testing. First stage is always PC. Second is console and third is release. So let's go over some notable ones we have on here. Let's see. We have the Big Bang Tank. We have, uh, let's see, we have Fedigari Series 90 Field Barn Package. We have Gas Station. We have Hall with Cistern. We have the John Deere 9R4213 Pack. We have, let's see, the Labur R960. We have a bunch of lizards right there. We have Modern House. We have the Fiber Dash Chemical Mixing, which that is from BC Bueller, which I've been waiting for that one. We have the Transport Platform 4000H, Universal Crusher, and Ymark. I think that's Canada. Uh, so that is on the PC side. Now on console side, it is big too. We have Bally Spring Update going to be coming. We have the KSIH 1455, Dual Valley. We have Gas Station BR. We have indoor fuel tank with pump. We have the John Deere HD 50 F with integrated cutter bar wagon. That is a long name. Uh, we have large potato hall. We have a bunch of lizards on that, including the rumbler and the rumbler pickup and the rumbler van. We have the man TGX silo pack. We have magic carpet. I wonder what that could be Uh rumbler tow car. We have, let's see, timbered houses. We have vehicle, vehicle auto load package. We have WSVS planter and the cedar on that. Now, number one's going to be tested is 175. Courage wait time is only seven work days. And there you have it right there. There was all the news for today. Hopefully later on today, we do get a testing list. Remember, if there is a testing list that does get posted, I will, of course, have it on the club's Discord page. We actually have a section that's called testing list right there. Now, what is today's schedule? Today's schedule, there is no live streams. The next live stream will actually be tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. A like would be appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. I pretty much post videos every single day on my favorite game, Farming Simulator. Have an amazing day, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you